Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to our Anytime, Anywhere training for a successful nighttime VBS. When it comes to recruiting volunteers, a nighttime VBS allows you to recruit that most elusive of volunteers, the working adults. Working adults are free in the evenings to volunteer for service at a nighttime VBS. You'll be able to recruit more men. Children need male role models in their lives, especially for children who don't get to spend much or any time with their biological fathers. Having a positive male role model is crucial. It helps young boys know the kind of man they can grow to become, and it helps show young girls what positive male attention is all about. There is one category of volunteer for which a nighttime VBS might be a concern, senior citizens. Many seniors prefer to volunteer during the day because of nighttime driving concerns. If this is the case at your church, perhaps you could ask your senior citizens to help prepare for VBS during the day. Senior citizens are great at preparing snacks and crafts. They can prepare recipes, cut out patterns, staple craft pieces, and so on. They can fill out cards, invitations, and certificates for children and volunteers. They can also do this work from the comfort of their homes or gather together at the church to work and fellowship together. Consider serving a light lunch or snack for them to enjoy as they work. And as with all your volunteers, ask them to pray for the VBS program. Because summer evenings are cooler than the days, activities that would have to be played indoors during daytime high temperatures can take place outside. This makes the entire experience more fun for children and volunteers. It also provides more activity opportunities for churches that do not have large indoor play areas. In the same way working adults are free to volunteer for VBS, a nighttime family VBS makes it possible for working adults to attend VBS with their children. For a complete guide, schedule, and activities written for family groups, read the Family VBS article in folder B of the Director's Planning Guide CD-ROM. Because parents are attending VBS with their children, you'll be able to recruit fewer volunteers as well. Make sure you emphasize that all children are welcome to your family VBS. Some children have parents who do work at night and will be unable to attend a nighttime VBS. These children can be adopted by other families. Also, some families can give rides to and from VBS for children who need transportation. Having your VBS in the evening allows you all morning and afternoon to prepare for each session. This is perfect for people who may be a little slow to start in the morning. You'll be prepping at a time when stores are open. This is great for that emergency trip to the craft store for pipe cleaners or running to the grocery store for snack supplies because the night before you ended up with twice as many children as you expected. It's also helpful to have the church fully staffed and all the facilities and resources available to your team as they prepare their activities for that evening. With more and more schools going to year-round schedules, it's becoming difficult for churches to account for the variety of schedules presented by different public, charter, and private schools. Having a nighttime VBS eliminates all those potential scheduling conflicts. Perhaps your church's adult ministries team would like to schedule an adult Bible study, financial management, parenting class, or other activity for the adults to take place while kids are attending VBS. To get an early start on your nighttime VBS, why not enjoy dinner as a church family? Serve popular choices such as pizza, salads, sandwiches, pasta, hamburgers, and hot dogs to appeal to the entire family. Well, there you have it. The basics for a nighttime VBS program. For more information, including suggested schedules, read the nighttime VBS guide. God bless you as you and your church plan for an effective nighttime VBS this summer. <music>